NJ. Good night, mate. I just passed midnight here. I too am for bed. Night. Is the temperature in the, under the colony more under control? Uh, let's have a look. I don't think it's particularly under control. Uh, it just hasn't got significantly worse, basically. But it's far from under control. Like, very, very, very bloody far from under control. We continue to explore here, here, here and there. Thankfully, this large glacier is helping out. And there's one down here as well that'll probably help out uh, just as much in the future. Oh, there we go. Uh, got the first bits of liquid entering the system. Awesome. Very awesome. Let's get that out of the way so I can immediately connect this up. There we go. Now, right now, this is so far from necessary, just because of how much power this this whole system pulls is is minuscule, absolutely minuscule. <clears throat> Still, it's useful. <clears throat> Pardon me. How are we doing down there? Not too bad. Let's get all of this mopped up because it's making people very unhappy having to walk through it, which, you know, is fair. Not puffed over there. Trying its best to breathe. A lot of water building up there now, unfortunately. Uh, right, okay. Well, we're going to just be waiting a moment. Uh, it looks like we've got a bit of a problem with the food. Honestly, if we just cleaned up these spaces, it would probably make everyone a lot happier, but there's not a lot we can do about that. I want to at least get the, the toilet set up first before we, we move forward. These ones will auto, will immediately be functional the moment the plumbing is finished. Ah, let me cancel that. Let me also deconstruct this and let me cancel that so that we can finish off that piping before, uh, before we move too much further forward. Warmth is at least the promise of them, indeed. Why did I need to raise the floor a block? Uh, because I like having double insulation. The outer wall should ultimately be granite, as well as this wall be uh, this floor be granite uh, because granite has a nice high thermal conductivity we will eventually be running um, basically a cooling loop a little bit like you can imagine uh, water cooling on a PC uh, and that will enable us to control uh, the temperature inside the base a little bit better Take care, Larkin, old dad. Enjoy this one, mate. Get a lot of liquid down here, man. Right, we're starting to see calories going back up, which is very good. Right, I'm 
finally going to start getting back into this place. We'll see how that goes. I'm very tempted now to grab uh, another duplicate the, the moment we get an opportunity to. Turn off all there, and instead, focus, um, yeah, actually focus on, on let's get these pipes up and running. Also get the power up there as well. We could have the showers up and running. <laughs> the moment, the moment I start going back out here. Probably because, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll cancel that dick again for now. I was very much hoping that we could get through there, but alas, no. Now Alacramps is going to need to take another another nap in the hospital for a bit. We've got only two more tiles to do. Wait. You gotta finish those two tiles first. There we go, perfect. I will get them into the hospital now. Oh, you're ineligible. What? Why? Are you not wounded? No, oh, apparently not. Very well, I will take it. Getting a lot more of these the the pipes work uh, the pipe works done now. I should probably dose off as well. Finals and study to do. Fortnightly, uh, fortunately, multiple choice. If with int uh, interesting rules surrounding how we precisely take it. Uh, okay. Take care, careful rogue. Enjoy me. Oh, but can you redirect the cold uh, ice water down that corridor to cool it off? I am considering that, yeah. It's a bit of a pain to do, but it may well be worth it. Uh, to achieve that, we would probably want to do something along... Well, actually, we can, we can just come up along the top, but... If I simply dug down from here... That would work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop priority here. A lot. So they will hopefully. No, no, I want more. Uh, hopefully, start work up top. Now, the issue with that is they will basically dig themselves into a massive soggy pit, but you know, it is what it is. Body temperature over here is too low. Damn. Yeah, okay. Well, that's quite uh, quite worrisome. And that is where the water was helping us, actually. It was keeping the body temperature of our food low enough. Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. The body temperature up there is quite a lot higher now. Okay. Well... One thing we can do is deconstruct the super nicey fan in there. Try and cool down this area a little bit. Ultimately, this is where all the heat's going to be coming in from, so there's only so much we can do. I could seal it off, and that would help a little bit, but it's not really going to be useful to us, I'm going to be honest.
But getting them to use an icy fan properly will be a huge, huge help. Hello, little pip. Right. Okay. Well, we no longer need this wire going down here. Nor do we need that wire there. Truth be told, this entire setup could probably be run off one single... Um, transformer, thinking about it. Yeah, it really could, so we might as well just remove the transformer completely and allow everything here to be powered off the one transformer there. What are the world traits we're working with? Uh, I'll tell you in just a second. Um, give me just a moment, though. I was just watching you want to play Scrap Mechanic, Evan. If you get a new P.O. Box, I'll mail you a book of the Far Side comics. I think it'll improve your life. Thank you very much for the offer. Uh, I am not checking my P.O. Box right now, though. Uh, I will let you know when, when normal operation of P.O. Box checking um, resumes. For the time being, I've actually cancelled it because it was like, well, I'm I'm literally not going to check it for possibly months, so there's no point in me having it. Thankfully, they were quite understanding, given the circumstances they were getting. Yeah, I suspect a lot of people have been doing the same thing. You said, I wish it was an Oni mod like the Induction Forge from Horizon. So I made a mod called the Inductinator. I see. Hello, Shadow Sword. Uh, Shadow Sword, rather. How are you doing, mate? And thank you very much for the eight months. But yeah, we, we do not need nearly as complicated a setup there as I was first imagining. Uh, let's get that done as well. As soon as that is taken care of, I can basically just hook all of this up. Oh wow, Ladybug Isabel, thank you very much for the uh, gift subs there. That was incredibly kind. That's fantastically kind of you. Thank you so, so much. And a fancy man. I keep getting error 3000s. What is causing this? I, I have no idea. Oh, you're setting your files up for your 3D printer, Shadow Sword. That's awesome. Have you got any uh, particular print that you've got in mind at the moment? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is a very great deal of water. How did that much water end up there? What the dickens? Did polluted ice just melt or something? I think it must have. Okay, time for us to start getting that all done. And thank you so much for the tier 2 sub as well, as well Ladybug Isabel. That's incredibly kind. Second month is indeed best month. Wow, thank you so, so much. And Oak, thank you very much for the gift sub as well. You're all being incredibly, incredibly kind right now. Thank you, everyone. This is lovely. Thank you.
Sorry for the delay there. I was just uh, replying to a whisper that I received that I, I completely missed. Uh, six hours ago. I don't check my whispers generally while I'm while I'm live. So, to be fair, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Oops. Bit of a late response that one. How are you doing, Ladybug Isabel? Right, what am I... Oh, my lord, you really need to get that sorted. Guys, come on, come on. You're having to walk through it every single time you go this way. You don't like it. I don't like seeing you dislike it. So, let's get it sorted. There's a lot of water down here now. That will help out quite a lot. Now, the thing is, if we could get enough water in, for example, the polluted water here, which takes a lot longer to, to flash the steam, for example, then we could conceivably power a an aqua tuna, or indeed, in this larger reservoir, just have an aqua tuna in it. Long before we have the means to build a steam turbine to delete heat or anything like that, we wouldn't need one for a little while. The aqua tuna would take a long time to to change the temperature of this much water. So it could f somewhat forget the problem for a bit. Well, it's never really uh, a good way of solving any problem, though, to be fair. Just, uh, you know, violently forgetting, but still. It might be an option for us. Very, oh my lord, now. See, we've made a worse problem for ourselves now. This is the thing. Yes, the 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 rock, the 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 sand, is not crazy hot anymore, but the liquid is, and the liquid is a much better, th uh, 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 is much much higher thermal conductivity. So yeah, we swap one one issue for another. I'm afraid. Can we get this done as a high priority. Saying that, please. That should really be on a seven. We have totally swapped one problem for another. Uh, there is no, there is no source of slush. No, there, there are glaciers. Uh, I was asked uh, about the, about the, the. the um, the map's qualities. Is there an easy way for me to check that? Um, quality summary. Maybe in here, perhaps? Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, so the map is uh it's oasis it has a frozen core glaciers which is quite an interesting one uh and it is geoactive so oxyfin is still doing an amazing job down there Right, new principles are available. Let's hope for a good duplicate. Okay, seven strength. That's nice. Irritable bowel. That's not a bad one. It does mean they need to spend longer in the toilet, but they've got high athletics as well. Ooh. Decreased food morale bonus. That's not necessarily a bad one. Increased cuisine. So a better cook. Hmm. That may indeed be a good one. That being said, Grease Monkey with Small Bladder. Now, Small Bladder means they're going to use the toilets more, which means they're going to generate more polluted water. But honestly, after a certain point, getting water is not the issue. Uh, that being said, uh, we don't know with this man. Uh, but we've got an entire frozen core, so we've got ice for a long time. Hmm. 
What do you think, peeps? Max or Turner? One or t'other. <laughs> Balaquin. <laughs> Sorry, Balau. Sorry for beating you up in Diablo. My bad. Yeah, I'm a, as a budding astronomer, I'm a little troubled by the frozen core, but still geologically active. Hmm. Take the cute hatchling. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad, bad choice. We've already got plenty of cute hatchlings, though. Uh, it seems fairly evenly split, so you know what I'm going to do? Because I, I do quite badly need a drink. Uh, I'm going to let Belial pick. You can you can look at chat and spend some time working out who's in favour of what and which one we need to go with. I'll be right back. All right then, Bilal, who are we going with? You think the door needs some WD forty? The door needs to be rehung, mate. That's the problem with uh, with renting uh, a house. At some point, I will. Uh, it's, it's one of those old, old like cheapo doors. <laughs> it's like um, I'm not not even sure what what's inside them, but they're... cardboard is the wrong word. I forget what those style of doors are, but it's not a solid door. I'll probably um, just get permission from my landlord to um, go buy a, a new door and hang it. Trust me, as the son of a carpenter. The fact that that door is so botched harms my soul. I can hang a new door in my sleep, but I have to get the, the okay before I... <laughs> Particle board or fiber board? Fiber board, I think it is. Right. Max. Very well. Let us find out who shall be Max's user. Oh, ho ho! Here we go. Donk. It is Big Al. There we are. Right then, Big Al, let's get you into the colony. And that is the last one we're going to be grabbing for a little while, I suspect. Uh, schedule first and foremost, Big Al, you're going to be uh, in a bunk with uh, Tok and Robert Owen. There you go. Next up, let's go and have a oops, nope. Uh, let's go and have a look at your particular skills. Uh, you're decent at cooking. Uh, you're actually also quite nice at uh, supplying. Everyone is getting a little bit better at that, actually. Everyone's getting getting kind of crazy good at that. To be fair, um, I do like having. Some people, uh, I'm actually going to set this back to the original now. As much as I like having some people who are dedicated to hauling, actually, you are literally a hauler. Um, it's it's a bit of a bit of a weird one. It is good to have some dedicated haulers. Really, really helps out a colony. But right now, we've got a bunch of other skills that we need. That being said, we don't actually need a cook. No one is cooking anything. We haven't got a ranch up. Until we have a ranch, there's no cooking to be done. So I guess, uh, in fact, Big Al, you're going to be going to be joining the courier corps. Pop. For the time being. We may eventually get a uh, dedicated cook. Who isn't he? Who knows? We'll see. Particle board. I'm still on the ropes of this game, but I was wanting to do an Oasis map and have my tubes be more extreme about water saving. They would be the free tubes. <laughs> Fantastic. God made the asteroid train the free tubes. Ah, but now, now the question is, what would the name of your colony be? Seach what? These are important questions. 
get rid of these ladders now. No longer need them. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, see, yeah, it does, because it'll fall down in there. So, yeah, get those stripped down as quickly as you can, please and thanks. If we can reach them. There we go. Well done. And how did they both land? Oh, my lord. Uh, right, could we get those removed? Oh, yeah, that'll help out. There we go. Getting a little bit of uh, icy fan action going on. I approve. We'll do the same down here. Chill out this area a little bit. Get more food growing going on. If uh, that is to say, yeah, there's still there's still quite a lot of ice around. So let's see this. I've read so much of you growing up. I like the idea of role playing through colony building. Dap Keen, obviously. Ah, oh, well played. Well played. I approve. Well, take care, Ladybug. Got to earn the next gift subs. Have a nice one. Oh, take care. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed the stream. There we are. Ah, oh, glorious. There we go. That's what we needed to see. Spread some of that good life-giving coolness around. How warm are you right now? Body temperature is dropping nice and fast. You're going to be... Uh, there we are. Perfect. It's going to continue to drop for a little bit. This one's dropping. Ah, oh, good, good times. At this stage, I actually think it's probably important for me to wall this off now. Keep any more heat from getting in. Eventually, again, this will be an airlock and uh, a couple of uh, suits for our duplicates to get out with. But for now, for now, they'll have to remain there. Right, next stage is actually to strip away all of the power down here. The Unspeakable Air subscribed to Tier 1. They've subscribed for 40 months. Here, yeah, speak a play. Is your place looking drab? Your artist's most recent work? Just a pile of stick figures? Worry no more. With our patented new electronic paper canvas, you can recreate any great historical work from the comfort of your own base. No skill points needed. However, you will require a decker. We recommend a technomancer. Because what is a decker but a poor man's technomancer, truly. Hmm. I guess we're just waiting on that then. I mean, I could force it, but I'd rather not. Let's get that around there. Oh, well, actually, that said, that said, let's not, in fact, do that. I'm completely happy with just using the coal generator to run this. And then occasionally topping up my oxyphins with uh, with CO2 using the wood burners. I'm actually completely that. Will you please stop that, you little scallywag, you? Ah, that's why that stopped producing wood. Body temperature, of course. Wow, that little shine bug. All on its own. Just looking for a friend. Oh, did it not give the info on, on them? Oh, man. That sucks. Oh, no, there we are. The bioluminescence of the shine bug's body serves the social purpose of finding and communicating with others of its kind. It is not uncommon for shine bugs to mistakenly approach inanimate sources of light in search of a friend. It is unwise to touch a shine bug's uh, to sh touch a shine bug's wing blades directly due to the extremely fragile nature of their membranes. The shine bug can be pet anywhere else along its body, 
although it is advised that care still be taken due to the generally delicate nature of its exoskeleton. It's just looking for friends. Poor little shine bug. In that little little cave all by its own. It is well worth reading all of the uh, info about the animals. I really enjoy just uh, checking out what they decided for them. Uh, we're going to have to cut through there as well. I mean, cutting through this entire area is going to be a pain in the bottom because it's sand and it'll all fall down, but... Oh, well. Tis what tis. Stick that away. What's the temperature around here? I mean, it, it's equalized, basically. Which isn't quite what we wanted, but it's also not strictly bad. Let's get a little item over there to help out. My little uh, deodorizer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm sweeping. That's why everything is showing. Uh, what I meant to do is mop. I was like, how is there so so much liquid here? I can't see any. It wouldn't be the first time that liquid is invisible to me while I was uh, while I was trying to do this sort of thing, but it isn't that normal either. You can you can stop. You can you can, please please stop. Don't don't do that. Why? It, it's just water now. My lord. It's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. Everything is normal. Not awesome, but it's normal. Right. What I would like to do then is hook this up here. And there. I'll probably have another one just over here, honestly. Go ahead and get you built. Furthermore, let's get that done. Sure. Let's make sure that all of the CO2 can just move happily straight down. That's massive overkill, but I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Ica, Ica and his shine bug stars. Uh. I feel that's hopelessly cruel. <laughs> but, on the other hand, the text says nothing that sh about shine bugs needing to, to have space to move around. Just that they're super fragile. And I can only imagine sticking three of them in the space of, like, a, a tiny meter cubed... Uh, sorry, 300. Would result in them smashing into each other at constant high speeds and just uh, tearing each other apart. But... On the other hand, they would have lots of friends. So... Hmm... I'm not, not certain on it, really. Not certain. Can we get a little bit more... Mopping up done? Hopefully, yes. How's the dig going? The dig isn't going up right now. But what we can then do is say, look, I need all of the water moved. Who made a mess and why? What? <sighs> you were only cut off for seconds. Could you really not hold it in? 